checking the unwary. And just at the moment, she's more than a little bit hormonal, so failing the unwary, she'll quite happily push into the wary. Um, now, personally, I think it really lives up displays at a place like this. She would only get one person per display. The photo opportunities for everyone else when that happens are absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, the zoo management don't like it. They are incredibly boring people here. Now, Rosie is a bald eagle. This is the All-American girl. This little lady weighs in at 12 and a half pounds. She's got wingspan there of about seven foot. Now, people get a little bit wary when they start Rosie's like. So first of all, I don't want any of you going off the wrong impression this morning. So please be absolutely assured, and I cannot stress this enough, if things were to go wrong with Rosie, she would get away from me and get one of you. But she would only get one of you for the reasons I was saying. Please be absolutely assured, it will be purely out of spite and malice because you are here. It will not be out of predation. I mean, if she was to kill you, she would eat you afterwards, but that would be entirely incidental. Because obviously once you're dead, you just count as carrion, which then puts you into her food group. Because for all her size, her aggression, her incredibly bad breath, this is not one of the great hunting eagles. This isn't even a proper eagle. It's more closely related to things like kites and it's really it's like a golden eagle. This is just a fish eater and a scavenger. These great big talons here are designed to scoop fish out of water if she can be bothered. But the best place to find one of these in the States where they are the National Bird is drive along the nearest highway, look for a bit of roadkill and there you find the eagles. 